You know why some people have such a hard time? It's because they only pray when they find themselves in the den. But Daniel was continually, faithfully in prayer. And buddy, let me go ahead and answer the question for you. It was a non-issue with Daniel. He understood, listen, I've went 60 years praying faithful to the Lord, but I am not going one day without praying to the God of heaven. One day will turn into two, 30 days would be 30 months, and all of a sudden Daniel would be far from where he needed to be. Listen, friend, he had made up his mind a long time ago I will continually, faithfully serve the Lord. Daniel understood to pray, I'm going to lose my life. But if I don't pray, I'm going to lose my soul. So I would rather lose my life than lose my soul. I'm not moving off somewhere and hiding. I'm going to stand fervently. I'm going to open my window toward Jerusalem. And I am going to pray. It don't matter what happens. It don't matter who says what. Listen, I cannot move away. I am a public example. And so he opened the windows and he began to pray. And can I tell you, friend, the enemies heard him and they jumped with joy as they ran to Darius. That wasn't all that heard him. Heaven heard him pray. And I look here at the life of Daniel and the deliverance didn't come that God kicked him out and never went to the den. The deliverance happened while he was in the den. Listen, friend, God may bring you to it, but his grace will bring you through it. Can anybody in here testify that God has brought them out of the den? Can somebody shout hallelujah that God brought me out of the den of suffering? Can anybody in here shout hallelujah that God brought me out of the den of sickness? Can anybody in here shout hallelujah? I was in the middle of bereavement and I didn't think I'd ever get out of the grief. But somehow, some way, God brought me out of it. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Has there anybody been in the den of sin so deep you didn't think you could ever get out? But somehow, some way, God lifted you up and brought you out. Let me hear you shout praise the Lord. And I'm telling you the same God that brought Daniel out, that brought these out, is in the house this morning and he's here for a special purpose. And that's to let you know that there's deliverance in the middle of your situation.